All right. Once you have your snapper filleted, we're going to go ahead and remove the skin, the rib cage, and the center bones. You want to start off making a downward incision through the meat right to the skin. Leave the angle. You leave the knife on a slight angle, so you're cutting down, pretty much lifting the meat off the skin. Working it back and forth. So you get the meat off. None left on the skin. Skin's fully removed. Dispose of. Next thing you want to remove is your rib cage and the center bones are run down to about there. So you'll take, come straight down, cutting down the bloodline. Back to about where the bones end, which is just past the end of the rib cage. Make another small slice there. About the same distance. That removes your center bones. Just lift that up and cut that out on an angle, trying to preserve as much of the meat as you can. That's trash. Come in on an angle. Cut down and out. Moving the rib cage and the bones. Leaving yourself a boneless and for the most part bloodlineless fillet of meat. And set that one off to the side. Come back to your second fillet. You're going to do the same thing. Knife on an angle, cut through the meat down to the skin, making sure not to cut through the skin. And pulling the skin while holding the meat up, slicing down, and removing the skin, giving you a nice skinless fillet. Put the scales off the fillet. Take your knife and again slice down where your bloodline bones are. Remove the rib cage on an angle. Come back up, make this cut here. Lift and remove. And now you have two skinless, boneless fillets of mutton snapper ready to throw on the grill or the fryer and enjoy.